they're still shuffling in. How are you guys? How am I? I'm fantastic. Thank you. Thank you so much. You know, it's good to be back. Even though I was here last week, it's good to be back in 2014, yeah? <laughs> Brand new year to make a mess of. I'm excited. Everybody have fun New Year's? Decent? I'll tell, you, I'll tell you, mine was a little interesting. I learned something. I'm a performer. That's what I do when I'm not standing here. I'm standing somewhere else making an ass of myself. Don't cheer for that. <laughs> but <laughs> but I, I, I perform all the time, which means compared to normal people, there's nobody here, but imagine if there was your prototypical normal person. We'll say normative if you like. We'll call him Norman the normative person if you like. If you don't like, I'm still going to do that because it was a lot of fun to say. <laughs> but if, if you imagine them and me, we're basically polar opposites. I'm... I'm, I'm the kind of person that, you know, I've, and I've said this before, you know, bedtime is based on when the job's done, getting up is based on when call time is, and a lot of times when you go to a party or an event, I'm working there. It's like right now this is a big party, yeah? yeah. <laughs> Technically I'm working right now. Uh, it's not a complaint, I love what I do. I love it, but it does, it does make, make for a bit of weirdness. It does. And one of the things that has been uh, a real joy this season is that I got to do a lot of it over the holiday season. The circus freaks were working like crazy. We came up here and told you as many stories as we could. And I was so worked down that by the time I found out I wasn't going to be performing on New Year's Eve, I was relieved. I was gonna get a, a day off and the first thought I had was, I'm gonna go be quiet. Cause everything is like this all the time. And so I'm gonna have a quiet night. And of course, Johnny and and, and Frankie and Catherine and all of them said, no, 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 we're gonna do the circus gym and we're gonna do everything because it's a Tuesday. New Year's Eve was a Tuesday and that means we got a circus gym. So I go to the circus gym, I'm like, fine. I've been working on a thing uh, where I'm juggling on a unicycle. If you don't unicycle and you don't juggle, you don't care. I get that and I respect that. But uh, for me, it's a big deal because it's like my old man trick. Now that I got old, that's my midlife crisis. I know some people did faster cars. I already had the ear piercing, so. <laughs> and the really inappropriate life, look at you people. It's true. <laughs> Thank you. But I've, I've been working on this. So I go out to the gym, I work on this. And so I'm doing, I'm doing what I love. On New Year's Eve and it's quiet and it's chill. But the thing is, a lot of other people have the same idea. Go to the mall, the gym is in a mall. Go to the mall, watch a movie, families are there. People who basically didn't want to go clubbing, you know, people with three-year-olds, didn't want to go clubbing. I, I can respect those choices. Sometimes you don't want to drag your parents to a club. <laughs> it's true. Except for here, people do it all the time. But. So I'm out there, and of course there's kids lining up. We've got a rope around the thing, kids are lining up. And you can't help it. I'm a clown, I can't help it. We can't help it, we're, just, we're playing with the kids. After a while, it's all about the kids. It's all for the kids. And I, they spot the unicycle and they, they start going, which is basically kid sign language for, would you please try to die on that thing in front of us? <laughs> I, of course, constantly needing approval, said yes, I'd be happy to. <laughs> Jumped on a thing, shot around, there's a rope around the thing, and I figure, eh, it's New Year's, mall's crowded, but not that crowded. What the hell? And I, I break one of our rules. We, we might think about shutting off the camera when I tell this story now that I think about it, but I went outside the ropes. I know. And the, the little snow-suited kids are sitting there, and I whiz by them waving, and they start chasing me. <laughs> little marshmallows bouncing up and down behind me, and they're screaming, and you gotta understand, most of the time, stage left, uh, of me is Brett Crow with the speaker and the music and I can't, I'm deaf. If you don't speak directly to me, I probably didn't get it. It's a real skill when dealing with hecklers, it turns out. But uh, I'm, I'm doing this thing and I'm riding around. The kids are screaming behind me and they're screaming over and over. Everyone's laughing and I have no, I, I mean, I know it's funny. I get that you get that it's funny. I get that. It's, I don't know why it's so funny. I hook a corner and decide to run right at them, you know, hook around drive right towards them, do the crazy, I'm gonna die, and I hear them screaming. And they're screaming, chasing, chase, 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 they're just chasing, 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 like that. And so they do that. Poor Alicia's got whiplash now. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry. But they do this, and I think this is hilarious. I don't realize I've had the perfect new year because I spent my evening chasing what I love to do and so did they and at one point I turned around and I didn't know if I was chasing it or it was chasing me and it was perfect 
and I wanted to bring that back here as the best way to do what I'm going to do all this year, which is chase this dream. Right here, I'm going to tell you about it every week at the open stage. Welcome.